Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Ni Akira and I'm from 6F. I was told to do a commentary video on social violence in Malaysian citizen during this pandemic of COVID-19. So, what is social violence? Social violence is any form of behavior that violates social norms and or the standard of expectation from a group of society. The violence can be criminal or non-criminal action. So, for the first situation, it happened when 11 men, including two local people, were caught um, by a police who patrolled around the area in Monkiara, the uh, uh, Monkiara. So these people, they were, uh, they went out for a jogging session, even though they know is the enforce uh, is during the enforcement of MCO Movement Control Order. So as a punishment for them, uh, for violating the regulation of Movement Control Order. Each of them will find as much as RM1000 uh, 1000 for each person. So the social theory that we can uh, relate to this situation is about, is about ignorance. According to Freud, ignorance is telling us about how an individual is unaware of the social expectation that are expected of them. So... Um, what we can relate is that this man actually knew that uh, they should not go out uh, for a jog, uh, a jogging, a jog during this uh, pandemic hour. But somehow they ignore the rules because they think going out for a jog does not affect anyone during this outbreak of COVID-19. So moving on, um, we have a news on how the Terengganu government um, declared on coming out about an alternative uh, Ramadan Bazaar so that the people can en still enjoy uh, Ramadan Bazaar during, uh, during Ramadan uh, in April. So... This situation is brought up by is, uh, the authorities itself because of the state government has cancelled the Ramadan Bazaar this year due, due to the COVID-19 cases that increases among uh, every day. So it is set up by the state government itself in order to help the traders sell their foods and fast mountain delicacy. And also it is uh, to help uh, this trader to gain an, in, uh, an income to help them um, raise, uh, to help them living their life uh, as usual. Because we know that during this COVID-19 hours, uh, everyone has been affected by it. So the government has started to set up an online uh, Ramadan Bazaar system so this trader can uh, apply and register uh, for the online for the online Bazaar Ramadan Bazaar and due to this we can relate uh, this situation to Merton theory number 2 which is about innovator the innovator is the mode of an individual that accepts a society goals. So it is more on how the government itself thinks of way to help these people uh, to raise income during this pandemic hour. So it's uh, a good alternative and for the innovator, it is, um, it is believed that this uh, kind of people believe there is a lot of way in order for them to choose their target and it is not usually based on their usual path. So, regarding to the next situation is about how um, two employers and six workers were put in jail due to them violating the M uh, movement 
control order by operating and work as usual. Uh, these eight people, uh, mostly the employers uh, were hit uh, a lot because these employers were not only put in jail but they also fined with 1,000 each so if they are unable to pay for that so they will be jailed for another month. Uh, in this situation you can say that the employers were seem to behave ignorantly uh, as they were bold to force their workers to operate the company and work even though they know that during this movement control order only the essential uh, sector that can that was able to operate as usual so due to this they were fined uh, as much as 1000 and also put in jail uh, for the workers six workers these six workers um, were actually being put uh, in a situation which is according to fraud this is a situational um, situational behavior that they have to do the work in order for them to achieve their targets which is the employer force them to work so that they are able to gain their money they, their daily salary so they will be able to um, continue support their families so it is seems that the workers are the victims of the um, of the employers so I think that is all um, on behavior on social deviance uh, in Malaysian citizen among uh, during the pandemic hour so thank you